Although I think I need to like do this if I want to do this. Also, I need like some music. Oop. This is my 2021 year in review on Twitter. Yerp. Yerp. This was a great look. I started the year out with 20,000 followers and I ended it. My goal was to get to 100,000 and I got to 80K. Look, 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 look. It's fine, it's fine. Because we made some friends. We made a couple enemies, <laughs> Captain Puffy. <laughs> um, look, let's do the Prezos top tweets of 2021, guys. This is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be the top like 25, I think. It's gonna be like the top 25-ish. Okay, this music is gonna distract me so much, I need to make it like lower volume. This shit has 68 slides. <laughs> okay, look. Squid Game captures the emotion of Total Drama Island and combines it with the intensity of Total Drama Action. How do you get this? So, okay. I should say, first of all, Mill's friend, who I don't even know the name of, <laughs> made a bot that got like some of my top tweets, but missed quite a few. <laughs> so I had to like also do some work. So I don't know, but he's working on a bot that makes it so that we could get our little tw little Twitter rap that we've wanted, that we've always wanted. And I want to do a stream with that. So I get like an exclusive look to the, uh, on that bot, but we won't get all the tweets because uh, I don't know, it just doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> okay. Squid Game captures the emotion of Total Drama Island, combines it with the with the intensity of Total Drama action. That doesn't make any fucking sense, man. Okay, you can say any uh, uh, jumble of words, and uh, it'll just get it'll just get viral. <laughs> With, with, uh, yeah, add Squid Game to, like, uh, auto-generated, uh, bot tweet, and it's gonna do well. I, but, for, I'm just saying, I'm, this slide is just here to appreciate, is he? <laughs> this, okay, so I did, I, after, so this was, I made this tweet when I had only finished the first episode of Squid Game. And then I made this. Of course, you can only make letterbox reviews after you've finished the whole season. Um, this show combines the emotional drama of Total Drama Island with the intensity of Total Drama Action, which I think is way better than this. This, this, uh, but the, I'm pretty sure I have the most popular, um, I have the most popular, uh, review on Letterboxd for Squid Game. Which is awesome. I like that. NFT. Weston even, uh... <laughs> I don't know why this is a slide. This is why I've got 63 slides. <laughs> uh, he said literally incredible review. <laughs> okay. Next, tw next tweet. Streamers will be like crazy stuff happening soon and it's Carson walking through the door behind them. Now this is, <laughs> this, okay, like, you know, if, you, if you're not in the know, you could just assume this means, uh, this is like something streamers do in general. Uh, people were telling me to, <laughs> to delete this. It, uh, there was a huge reply, 2.3K on a reply. YouTubers will be like crazy stuff happening soon and be grooming minors on the side. This doesn't make any sense. This completely ignores what this uh, this uh, 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 tweet uh, thing is. But I like it. I, I you know what? I'll give it a like. I thought my phone. <laughs> <laughs> he will never delete this. This is gonna be a deleted tweet. I'm calling it. Don't you dare delete this. This, to be fair, this is just under every tweet that I make. So, so people were like, oh, this is a great tweet. Please keep it up. There was one person, though, that didn't like the tweet that much. Uh, oh, I mean, this person, to 
be honest. <laughs> Didn't he make you famous, though? Or something along the lines of that? Interesting. What? Anyway, <laughs> let's just move on from that. I think you're thinking of Stonepaw, but we're just gonna move on from that one. Someone else didn't like it. Uh, so I did a little thing for Miskiff at some point. Okay, and he was like, did we ever pay you? And I said, nah, not yet. And he said, is that why you've been tweeting about me? Fucking pussy. Give me your PayPal. <laughs> Which was a couple days after, uh, after this tweet, so. To which I responded, LMAO or some shit. Alright, next tweet. This is like the 20th most liked tweet or something. This was, uh, I don't know, some gay shit. Peg the patriarchy, uh, at the Met Gala, and I said, hope this works, and I changed my name to the patriarchy. Pretty good, 20k likes, pretty good. 20k likes isn't really, like, that much. I get that, like, every day, but whatever. <sighs> Dream stands go through way more than the Marines. Oh, now this was a big one for me. This was a big one for me. Uh, mainly because images that make you feel pain censored my name, first of all. I didn't want that shit censored. I want everyone to know. That's my joke. What the f- Shut up. That's not your joke. <laughs> they, uh, they posted my shit and I made sure uh, to just like add a little bit to this were they wrong lol this person isn't me we just have similar profile pictures which is true I think they just posted like some random person with the same profile picture um, and then someone replied <laughs> I don't know why I added this slide this is a terrible slide to add here um, the man crying is a soldier who fought in the Iraq Iraq war uh, war um, that bag is a fr friend of his. The kid got married. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, and to which someone said, nobody cares. Watch this cat get faded, though. And ratioed them. Which, I, th in my opinion, was a bad thing that happened. <laughs> I think th I don't think they should have gone ratioed here. I don't think that's... Okay. Next tweet. <laughs> Next <laughs> next tweet. The fact that people are making jokes about the Tomato Town situation is fucking insane to me. Kind of in the same vein. You know, I, I just wanted to... This was like my first political serious tweet. Because uh, everything that's going on in the Tomato Town uh, place... Um, we, I, we got featured on iFunny. Me and Polite got viral on iFunny for the first time. <laughs> Because uh, apparently right under the tweet, he said, me when I roll up to Tomato Tom, which is a great tweet as well. Which is I don't know what this anime is, but I, I'm sh maybe he drew it. Maybe he drew this. I don't know. Just, uh, this is the next tweet. Cheers. This is where I just called someone pathetic for making this <laughs> tweet. Which now we're like best friends. Actually, that's not true. I, I don't know if Miley's like a sus person. Uh, but I just called it pathetic because I thought it was funny that, uh, that, you know. This is like a tweet that everyone posts, you know? Like, I know this was like an ironic tweet, but I just thought, you know, I could get 23,000 likes from this. Did I say Miley? I've got, I've got Miley Cyrus on the brain. <laughs> Why do ed editors get paid? It's pressing a few buttons, adding an image or two, press render. Shit is so fucking stupid. Uh, this is a, this is uh, a tweet that I like to make every few months just to piss people off. You know, it got a, it got quite a few quote retweets. Um, you know, I should I should have maybe gone through the quote retweets and 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 shown like the the angriest one. But it's like if you're gonna be mad at me for this tweet, then you're on my side. You know. Like, if you're saying true, that means you like the tweet and you think it's funny and you agree with it, which is a good thing. But also, if you're against me... Oh, yeah, Hassan liked the tweet. That's right. And that shit got on Destiny subreddit. Off. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, anyway. And then Wheat Skins made an insanely nice uh, uh, meme out of that, uh, which is like this thing YouTubers trying to make a living, and then they're greedy, uh, uh, lazy editors, which is a funny tweet. And then Sive stole it because that's just what Sive does. <laughs> PewDiePie's editor. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Uh, next tweet. Huge 
fucking news. After six months of waiting, I finally got an answer from Harvard. I'm gonna be studying law. I'm going to Harvard Law School, which was a huge, huge moment for me. I was so fucking excited. Like this tweet like was all over the place because I was scrambling when I saw that letter. Uh, and I was like looking back at all the other times that I made this exact fucking tweet. It was, uh, it was a good time. It was a great, <laughs> I saw like how many fucking likes I got during this time and, and, and compared to like this time, 27 K versus what the 3.9 K that's fucking nothing. Oh God. And I got soup ostrich, maybe in the chat, maybe not, uh, gave me this awesome sweater for my uh, birthday to celebrate that I was going to Harvard Law School, which was really nice. Uh, and um, it's actually one of my more comfortable sweaters, which, uh, except for the, the cool shirt, the cool shirts are way more comfortable than anything that's ever existed. Next tweet. Okay, this, <laughs> so someone said the fuck is pretty privilege. <laughs> James Charles getting away with what Carson couldn't. Lol. Lol. Okay, this was this was kind of a fucky one. Especially, okay, th what I don't like about the tweet is how like I called like James Charles pretty and then I called James Charles uh, not uh, not James uh, uh, Connor not pretty. I don't like to to talk about people's looks at all. Okay, I was just I, I was just pointing something out. That's it. I would just did I say Connor? <laughs> Carson, the motherfuckers that start with a C pissed me off. Uh, I got blocked by James Charles from this. Um. <laughs> I don't know why I, there's a whole slide dedicated to this, but a, a stance said LMAO, which I thought was funny. <laughs> um. I, I didn't get like any shit for this. Um, like literally zero shit. Except from Marco. My friend Marco was like, uh, so you're defending Carson? I was like, no, what the hell are you talking about? Okay, anyway. Uh, this was like the stupidest one. I hate when people just film this shit instead of helping and it was human body versus airplane engine animation It was just like uh, animation <laughs> I don't know man 34k like if very easy 34k likes to get it was just um it, Literally my least controversial tweet of the year. I'm glad it did so well <clears throat> uh, This is <laughs> so I dug up this really old Pokemane tweet <laughs> Where, uh, where she was taking pictures with fans. And I called her out for her bullshit. You know, I called her out because, you know, everyone's stuck at home and rich people get to hang out with it's just whoever. So I said, during a fucking pandemic, got 41k likes because everyone was on my side. Literally, like, it's so insane how I get, like, no shit for anything. Anyway. And then someone under the tweet made this really shitty joke <laughs> during a panorama, which like, clearly you didn't think of that. Clearly you saw a tweet that's called it a panorama. And then she said, uh, ha 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 ha, who sent you guys here? Which was not, this is the closest thing to like a, a, a Pokimane uh, shout out that I've gotten, which is really nice. So that, it was a, it was a good moment in my life, I'll be honest. U.S. government will run out of money by October 18. I said, do a subathon. I don't know. 44k likes. Very easy. Uh, which um, spawned this really nice thread where Oxel said Joe Biden would literally die 26 minutes into the subathon. Which made Stompa say, you made me chuckle in the public bathroom stall. To which he responded, careful, someone might notice you're in there and make a little TikTok. And then he posted this, uh, this, uh, image of, of himself, clear, like, clear outline of his cock, which I, I decided to point out to him. Like, why the fuck would he do that? Little weirdo. But, um, you like what you see? <laughs> I don't know why I made this a whole, uh, slide. 
Oh, this was a great one. Okay, this was a great one. I actually have to like click on a link for this. One of the best videos that's ever existed. I posted this shit twice. <laughs> On a... Uh, ah! Spoilers, I'm sorry. <laughs> I even... Uh, <laughs> I even... Uh, posted this shit on TikTok, which even got like even more viral. Selma uh, uh, tweeted, yikes, or not tweeted, commented, yikes, only 100 followers, which by the way, now I have way more followers than her, okay? Ooh, way more followers than, than Selma. <laughs> and then I, I said, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying my best because I only had 100 fo I was a very, I was a, you know, I was a... Who the fuck is Chris? M literal meme god who had like 50,000 fo followers said yikes only a thousand followers Me liking it made people like it though. They knew that Selma was my friend. So I think um Selma even made a fucking apology on her on her TikTok <laughs> Which was insane because she was just getting comments that were like, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, you're so famous. <laughs> Way to steal this video from Prezo. You can check his Twitter, at Prezo, to find the original vid. Okay. So this was the day that Mr. Beast came out with Squid Game. And he held up, and he you, you knew what he was thinking. He thought this shit was so fucking funny. He thought this shit was, uh, ma like, the funniest joke he's ever made. 9-11. And I, I wanted to point out that f stupid fucking joke. And got 56,000 likes. And keep... <laughs> And Keemstar thought this caption was way funnier, was an inside job. No, it wasn't. It wasn't funnier, so I said, shut up, bitch. I think the reason why you don't get shit is like your Twitter character is played as oblivious constantly. What are you, are you trying to dissect me? <laughs> shut up, man. I don't want to start getting shit because of that comment in my chat. Oh, speaking of Keemstar, I just confirmed with a very, very, very credible source, Addison Ray is in fact dating Jack Harlow. And I said, you're 48. I thought that was funny. I got 56,000 likes. Okay. Free block list. Now this is a classic. This was an instant classic 70K. Cause I saw this, uh, <laughs> this list of people saying what the dog doing. I thought that was funny to just to say free block list. A lot of these people I know, like, I I'm mutuals with Tommy in it. I'm mutuals with Glaive. Actually, not anymore. He unfollowed me uh, as soon as I posted the Chem Puffy. Uh, Schlaz is the only good racist tweet. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> and, okay, I don't know if... I don't know if it's... Um, I don't know if... If it's related, but he tweeted... Uh, sometimes... How about you just shut the fuck up? Just like out of... Uh, I'm just assuming it's not about me because I don't want every, everything to be about me. But it was pretty much at the exact same time as he unfollowed me. <laughs> like, you, you gotta learn to shut the fuck up. I don't think... Maybe he was talking about Captain Puffy. Maybe he unfollowed Captain Puffy too. Maybe he's anti Captain Puffy now because of the Schlatt thing. But it really, it was me. Anyway... Uh, I did try to join me and stop <laughs> Try to join in uh, but, <laughs> but it didn't really work out. It went from like 10k to immediately like 400. It wasn't it, 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 Archie got 96 God, it didn't really Glaive said my fault and I said I'm kidding. I promise this is me still pretending as if uh, he doesn't want to want me dead uh, You know, but Whatever. <sighs> this 
This was... Okay, look. The... Whatever, this might work for this. <laughs> Schlatt is the only good racist. Look, okay. Just a little bit of context for this. This was during... And maybe I should have made this a slide. I, this was during the Connor Eats Pantsies of the last year. This was about a one year ago. This was just just under a year ago. What's up, Maxer? Um, I was I was drunk. Okay, I was drunk during this tweet, and the thing that triggered me into tweeting this was seeing Schlatt be the announcer for um uh, best foreigner. And it's just like this this Kona dude with like the fucking American flag and I was like and everyone was like yes yeah and I was like wow Schle like uh, anyone like I feel like oh, I feel like this is sus kind of but no one gives a fuck so I'm just uh, so I'm going to just going to say this absurd thing that I'm going to delete in 2 minutes Schlatt is the only good racist uh to which <laughs> To which it, it just started, you know, <laughs> the thing is like he immediately said banger and I was like, okay, so maybe it's not that bad because he said banger, <laughs> you know, uh, which got like 2,400 likes on its own, probably to save his career. He did delete the, he did delete the banger and then DM me. And I'm not going to show the DMs, but he did DM me being like, I deleted the reply because I don't want you to go through all that, which was really nice. You know, you'd think he did that to save his career. No, 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 no. He did that to save mine, <laughs> which like to save mine, I would have deleted my tweet. But then, you know. Reddit even got on it. Good to see some positivity from the community. Schlatt liked. Schlatt did keep the like, by the way. Schlatt is the only good racist. <laughs> uh, it got in a <laughs> it got in a Jackbox video, which I'm not. This, this isn't like something to be proud of. <laughs> exactly. Um, it got in like a, in like a drama channel as well. I don't even know what this is. It's just called Jay Schlatt is a racist. So I decided to make, you know, a sequel to it like a few days later. Uh, <laughs> which actually did really well as well. It, it did pretty well for a sequel, which only came out like six days later. Um, so... We, we let the dust settle a little, a little bit, right? And who, who brings that shit back? Who brings that tweet back? If you're gonna have any like edgy jokes or like slightly racist jokes, I would just copy Jay Schlatt because he's the only good racist. That's what my friend Prezzo taught me. So when you say something like that, and you add like a space between the racist thing and then the context people are going to people are going to tweet that shit without the context <laughs> that's just how that's just that's being famous 101 by the way ludwig to which he immediately had to make an apology live on twitch i couldn't find the <laughs> Out, I couldn't find the out of context clip because it was immediately, uh, oh, it wasn't immediately, but a few hours later it was deleted. It actually did like a huge thing. It was a big thing on Twitter. I got like a bunch of notifications for that shit. Dude, my friend from high. Okay, this is, okay, so he did the apology and then a few months later, <laughs> this happened. This is like some butterfly effect shit. Dude, my friend from high school texted me after going to a party in New Mexico. Like, bumfuck New Mexico. I think it was Santa Fe, so actually not bumfuck. And he was like, hey man, 
uh, I'm at this party and they're saying you're racist. And I was like, what? And they're like, yeah. And he explained it was because the Prezzo tweet, Jay Schlatt's the only good racist. And this was a month, a month after I had quoted that tweet on stream. Dude. Isn't that fucking insane? <laughs> Isn't that the most insane shit? To top it off, to top it off, while he was saying that, hot minimum. This was during PogChamps, and they were they were showing that story on PogChamps. Oh, fuck! Did they hear the racist <laughs> story? Oh. Did you hear the full context at least, or did I just say I texted my friend I'm not racist? And now it feels like I did something weird. <laughs> this is so fucked. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, 2021 was me just like causing fucking chaos and I, <laughs> I'm so into it. Okay, so in my, on my alt account, by the way, and this wasn't supposed to be a part of this, on my alt account at some point, uh, in December, 5th of December, this was a whole year in the making. Schla this this was a whole year of just one tweet, okay? I did sketching out merch ideas. I thought this was funny, you know? It's not real. I'm not gonna make this merch. Tweeting this out made it so that typing Schlatt is the only good racist, it comes up with this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, uh... I can't, like, get away from this fucking tweet. Look, I hope they made their bag, all right? It's, 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 it's my fault. It was my fault that I did that. It's, uh, you can't put merch in an image because if you do that on Twitter, that shit is just going to be plastered on, like, a bunch of shirts, a bunch of weird websites. Just don't do it. Don't do it. What happened after? Like, oh, I know what happened. This was the most insane thing that happened from this tweet by the way who who types this tweet the last person you would think to quote this tweet the last person you would think to quote this tweet Captain Puffy now I'm just kidding she did actually do that she did not she didn't it was an inspect element thing <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't real it was not real uh, this was this year though, so let's not talk about it too much. Uh, she did see, <laughs> she did see that I tweet that on, <laughs> she did see. Puffy, you're looking for that, uh, that I tweeted that. Tweet. This was on like Sleepy Puffy or something. This is her reaction. It takes her like a year to find my tweet. She doesn't know. She's like going through the 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 block list um, right now. She's <laughs> scrolling a lot. She just said, "Oh, there's an essay or something." By the way, her chat during this is loving it. Like, she, th they think it's so funny for some reason. Like, why are they so on my side? Count Puffy fans are, like, the best. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but after this, by the way, she's, she said, this is the weird way to start the year. This is, I didn't want 2022 to start this way. And then she said... And I feel so bad about this. I love Camp Buffy. She's so, she, she seems, the fact that she didn't like do anything weird or anything, uh, hate me. Uh, I think, okay. And I realized, I realized um, that I think she like thinks I'm like a, a, a decent person because Jack Manifold uh, and Miariza and like Justin Minx were like talking about me while there was like a Cold Ones video. So I think she's like, well, why is this like rant, like person that like people like? Uh, why is this person trying to ruin my fucking career? <laughs> Which I'm not. I Ken Puffy like my followers will not ruin your career. They just they're just like you know whatever. <laughs> So 
so. All right. New tweet. This was the longest fucking saga of all time. We're back to music. Unstuff from Hassan. Didn't know he was going to buy shit with that money. That was a great saga. Really, the only thing to... to, th to Look, okay, I don't want to suck Hassan's dick. I'm done sucking Hassan's dick. I'm never tweeting about Hassan ever again, okay? He's a slut. He's a cunt, even. He's old. But I did make it to uh, Your Tango, which is the only news source that has tweeted a tweet of mine before. Let's go. We've made it. Uh, they didn't. They don't even like really talk about my tweet. They just like posted it. This is the only time. So I thought this was a good thing to show. <laughs> uh, this one sucks, man. Screenplay writers wish they could think of shit like this, and I just fucking copy pasted. Okay, it was you either a smart fella or a fart smella. Question mark fart smella. Leave me alone. I'm a miter. Great. It's, it's a great screenshot. Okay, but it's something I should have deleted. Cause I don't want that shit to be at the fucking top of like my biggest tweets of all time. But uh, first, okay, I'm just saying. Uh, this is all. This was all scripted. This isn't even real. There's not even the Agena doesn't exist. Okay, it's not. This isn't real. Okay. This is fake. And and. Because immediately after I tweeted this, I like added uh, DJ J -J -J and like Gina was a completely different person. It was just for the screenshot. And you know where I find it? You know where I find this fucking thread of tweets? Under a Josh tweet. Like what? <laughs> this is under a Josh tweet. <laughs> And it's how to trick a monkey. And it's like, it's just an image. And someone says, don't joke about that. And it's either you're a smart fella. And it's Reggie, this fucking, uh, this dude. This random dude. So. So good job on you, uh, Reggie. And I, I screenshotted this today. This shit only has 182 likes. I pocketed all those fucking likes, man. For this good joke. It's a good joke, man. I this might I think this is the last tweet. <laughs> Nintendo Googled actors and picked the first people that came up. hundred and eighty seven K likes. And you know what? It's it's a good tweet. I like this tweet. I'm happy that I'm happy that this beat this shit. F like, fuck... Fuck a random screenshot of, like, a fake interaction. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God that, so like, an actual joke made from me beat it. And then I... And then, you know, I made Nintendo Google actors and picked the first people that came up, too. That needed to happen. Cutie Cinderella Google streamers and picked the first people that came up. The U.S. government, uh, Google broke and became the first uh, thing that came up in response to U.S. government will run out of money on October 18. I just Googled uh, people that just got accepted into Harvard Law School and I came up. LMAO, I'm going to Harvard Law School. The hackers Googled Twitch and hacked the first website that came up. <laughs> Chris Pratt Googled how to build a sweet ass KO trap and uh, looked at tons of options, which was terrible. Welcome to 2022. Follow me on Twitter. There's going to be way, way more tweets this year. Even better, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and that was my presentation. <laughs> Ah... <sighs>